that see these amazing beef short ribs. Oh. Glazed barbecue sauce. All keto. Wow. Ooh. That looks amazing. Let's go. Let's make hey. some ribs <laughs> in Dolan. Let's go. These are going to be delicious. Yeah. Um, these are beef short ribs we got, and we've got a roasting pan, and we're going to show you how to do these beautifully in keto style. And very easy. It's like really easy, yeah. You just need some time, that's all. So this is a, maybe three pounds or so of meat. Um, beef short ribs, they're delicious. You're gonna love it. This is what we're gonna put on for seasoning while they're in the oven. We've got about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of salt and a couple teaspoons of black pepper. And this is like that uh, brown sugar, diet sugar swerve or Lakanto, whatever you like. Uh, we're gonna have a little other stuff in it too, but let's get started. Also, we will, we will link everything down below to the description box, everything we used. So if you want, you can just buy everything we use or not. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, don't forget to subscribe. It's free to subscribe. So I'm just going to mix this stuff up with my hand. Salty and sweet. This sort of brown sugar stuff is actually really amazing. It smells really good. I don't know how they do it, but it's good stuff. We like it. Yeah, it's, it's like real sugar. I used on my, um, well, what was the last recipe I did? Oh, in the, um, that amazing chicken satay. Chicken satay. Which we have to do again mm -hmm. soon. We will link it here. You guys check that out. It's amazing too. And I use this brown sugar again. Yeah. It's beautiful. So take your seasoning, your sugar, coat it everywhere. Yeah. Can you drizzle a little oil for me, Beth? Yeah, thank you. That'll help it stick. You guys, if you guys like olive oil, you can use olive oil. We're using this one because I like this oil a lot. Olive oil sometimes is too much of the taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you want to sprinkle the paprika, you can. If you want to do some light seasoning here, other than salt and pepper, we're gonna try some of the smoked paprika that we like. Yeah, you can Anything use works. whatever you like. But salt and pepper, it's kinda a must. Yeah. But smoked pepper. If you like it or not. Yeah. We're also gonna do a little sauce. This, these, these guys are gonna make so much broth that we're gonna actually make sure stays in the roasting pan. And that's gonna become the sauce at the end too. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Mm, this is looking good. It's gonna cook in the oven. So it depends. Sometimes they're really big pieces of meat. You might need to cook it longer, but it's a low oven. We've got the oven for 250. And we're gonna guess about four hours for this much meat. So make sure you have some time set aside. But it's easy, you don't have to sit and watch it. I'm gonna put the bone side down, so the meat stick stays up, and I think that's, what else do we need to do? That's it. We're gonna just give it a little bit of water too at the bottom of the pan, just that'll help it release its broth and all the juicy stuff that's gonna come out of the meat. Put it up, put it up. Okay, just a little bit of water like that. What is that, a quarter cup of water? And tin foil. I'm gonna do two layers and wrap it really tight. It's very important to put two layers because you want all the steam inside to cook your meat. Sealed up, whack it in the oven for four hours, and we'll, we'll be back later. Three hours, 20 minutes. Three, yeah, almost three and a half hours three now. Three and a half hours, okay. Let's go. Ta <laughs> Moment of truth. So this is gonna be really juicy. And delicious. 
Let's see, it smells super good already. It's totally, it's gonna come right off the bone just like that. And look at all that juice. That's gonna turn into an amazing sauce. Wow. Or would you just eat like that? <laughs> Definitely. Oh, look. Well, it's gonna cook a little bit more. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's not falling off the bone, but it's so soft. Look, it's like butter. Yeah. You don't want it to fall off right away because we're gonna make the sauce. Let's take the juice out and make the sauce. So very carefully, and just hold these. Wow, nice. That's just gonna separate naturally. Let's look at that. Wow. So we're gonna take most of the fat off and just cook the sauce with the broth. But save it, don't throw it out. What can you make with it for example? Soups? Um maybe you want to saute some vegetables? You wanna give a little bit of uh, beef stock flavor? So all the fat at the top, we are going to take it, but we needed okay. the good stuff. Yes. Yeah. This is going to be so good. Perfect. It's good to put the juice in a glass because you can perfectly see the fat from the juice because we need this beautiful juice. I'll leave a little bit fat. Two sauce we mixed it in. One is keto friendly ketchup. And the other one is Classic ketchup uh, barbecue sauce, keto barbecue sauce. So we can, oops, <laughs> crash. We had like a little bit of each. We're just finishing the bottles off. Yeah. It's like this. Nice. Okay, that's good to taste it so we don't have to. Uh... Mm. Yeah, let's taste first how sweet it is and how spicy. It looks perfect. That taste, how does it taste? Mmm. A little bit sugar might be great. Okay. You want to taste? Yeah, sure. Let's taste yeah. it. Good chef yeah. tastes everything. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely. Mmm, it's going to be make a great barbecue sauce. Yes, it's a little spicy. Let's put sugar. Mm. Okay. Here goes. You know, it's a little too spicy. And one, two. It's going to make it perfect. Okay. If you have a favorite barbecue sauce recipe, you can tell us in the comments. Yes, we like to, we mostly like to make our own sauces. Today we kind of cheat a little bit to using this keto uh, primal kitchen thing. I mean, it's not commercial. This is what we use at home because we like the taste of it. But if you know any better ones, let us know, please. We like to hear from you guys, especially when you make the dishes and tell me how it come out. It makes us like really happy. When it start to dance, my grandmother used to say stuff. That's dancing. <laughs> so in about five minutes, your sauce will start looking like this. You can see it's reduced, gotten a lot thicker. Almost there. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. It's gonna coat the back of the spoon, a nice thick sauce. Really good. Yeah, it's done. So when your sauce looks like this, you can tell it's really thick, it's beautiful. And let's set up our ribs to go back in the oven. Probably not even going to use all the sauce. We can save some for the, 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 the uh, plate.
there. Science. There you go. Thanks. Good work. Alright, how's that look? One more. That looks great. We can save the rest of the sauce for the table. Sure. Great. Yes. So we made our oven 350. Higher temperature. And we're going to put these back in for another 20 minutes or so. Ooh, wow, beautiful. Let's see these amazing beef short ribs, oh. glazed barbecue sauce, all keto. Wow, Ooh. that looks amazing. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Oh, wow. This, <laughs> this looks amazing. Give us a little garnish. Oh, <laughs> I went for it. <laughs> Alright, mm. thanks Gabby, it's too beautiful. Mm. Mm. Let's eat that. Delicious. No, let's take a photo first. Ta-da! This is so exciting! Ooh, look at that. Mmm. Oh. Look, you guys. It falls apart? Yes, it did fall apart, definitely. It's off the bone. Mmm. <laughs> okay, yes, I will taste. Mm, and this is my favorite mashed potato called mash. Mm, it's gonna be around here somewhere, the recipe for that. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh gosh, this is. <laughs> this is the happiest meat ever. Mm. Subscribe. Guys. Another amazing, delicious, yummiest dish ever, and it's super easy. You guys all saw that. It doesn't take anything. Mm. It's so good. This is mm -hmm. this is my plate. Bye. Bon appetit. Subscribe. Okay. Subscribe. Bye.